I'm going to show you how you can use Cloudflare Gateway to secure your home network from malware, phishing, ransomware, and other security threats on the internet. So let's get started by going to the Teams website. We'll go here, dash.teams.comfort.com. And if you don't have the Cloudflare account, you can sign up and the browser will redirect you back to uh, the dash.teams.comfort.com uh, gateway dashboard. So let's go ahead and sign up. And what I'll use is an email address that I created to uh, demo the gateway today. And Gateway will drop me in the Cloudflare Gateway onboarding. So let's get started with that and see what happens. So the first thing that you see here is Gateway is asking me to set up a location. And a location is usually a physical location like your home, your office, store, or a data center. And while I'm doing this video, I'm actually setting up Gateway in my home network. So I'm going to enter a name for the location. And in the next screen, you see that Gateway automatically picked up the IP address, the public IP address that my home network uses to communicate to the internet. And that's how Gateway will, will know that any request that is coming from my network, uh, if it matches with this IP address, it means that Irtafa's home is sending these requests. So I hit next. And this is basically telling you how to set up Gateway. Now to take full advantage of Cloudflare Gateway, you should change your router settings to the IP addresses that Cloudflare Gateway is giving you. But for this demo, I'm only going to use uh, these two IP addresses here and only add them to my laptop's DNS settings. So I'm going to go here, System Preferences, to Network, then Wi-Fi Network, I hit Advanced, then I go to the DNS tab, and there you could see that this is the IP uh, the ISP's DNS servers that was the system was already using. To make sure that your laptop or your router is correctly using Cloudflare Gateway, please, please, please remove all the existing DNS servers when you're adding Cloudflare Gateway's DNS servers. So I'm going to hit plus, and this is not the right one, so I'm going to copy it from here, enter that, and then copy this one. In my network's case, I don't have an IPv6 uh, connectivity, but if your network supports IPv6, make sure to add this IPv6 address as well. So I'm gonna hit OK, then I'm gonna hit Apply. And now my laptop is actually sending uh, all of its DNS requests to Gateway's DNS resolvers. I'm gonna hit Complete Setup. And now I'm dropped into the uh, overview page. This is where you could see all the requests that your laptop or your router or basically your home network is uh, sending and everything will be logged in this graph right here and you will be able to see the requests that are being blocked here as well. So we'll give this a little bit more time to actually populate uh, about like five minutes to start seeing real queries in this overview page. So I'm gonna go and check if my location was set up and it's, it looks like it was set up correctly and it says, says that there is no policy assigned to it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a policy. And the policy will be used to uh, actually enforce the rules that will block, you know, the malware, the phishing, and other security threats uh, using Cloudflare Gateway. So this is really important that we create a policy right after we create a location. So I'm going to create a policy right here. You can enable block page safe search. I'm going to skip those options for now. I'm going to block all security threats that are listed here. So for example, if you select malware, it means that all of the domains that matches with that malware category will now be blocked using Cloudflare Gateway. You can also block different content categories here. But what I'm going to show you is how you can block uh, domains or websites manually. So in this case, I'm going to, uh, just for an example, I'm going to add example.com add that to my block list, and then I'm gonna hit add a policy. So let's wait for that to finish. It says that no location was assigned, so let's fix that. And now this part is really important because if the policy is not linked to a location, that location is not going to enforce that policy. So let's fix that by clicking on here, and then I hit save. 
So if you go to the locations page, you will see that now it is using that policy that we just created. So let's actually test how uh, Gateway is going to block you know, a website that you're trying to reach. Now, usually when you set up a policy, it will take around 60 seconds uh, to propagate across all of you know, over Cloudflare's more than 200 data centers around the world. So let's give it a, a little bit of time, but we're going to actually go to our terminal and test if we can go to example.com. So before I do that, I want to show you what it looks like when you go to a website uh, that is not blocked by Cloudflare Gateway. So let, for example, if I go to cloudflare.com, uh, we did a no error and it's returning the answers for cloudflare.com, which are actually the IP addresses for Cloudflare. Now let's see what it looks like when I try to go to the website that I just blocked using Cloudflare Gateway. Cool, so it returns refused, which means uh, your you, when you try to go to this website now in your browser, it will actually, uh, you know, show you a page that will basically look like a browser error or tell you that the website does not exist, which means Cloudflare Gateway is successfully blocking this website now. And the same way Cloudflare Gateway will block all the domains that are in those malicious categories that you selected when you created the policy. So let's actually see what our browser thinks. You know, sometimes uh, this may take long to propagate. Cool, so it's showing that the site can't be reached. So Gateway is now successfully blocking the website. And you know, sometimes, like I said before, this will actually take a, about 60 seconds to take into effect, or you know, your browser could be caching the results from that domain. So it may take a little bit of time uh, to see if a website is actually getting blocked by Cloudflare Gateway. So give it a few more minutes uh, before you start seeing the results that Cloudflare Gateway is actually blocking that website. So let's go back to our overview with dashboard and see what's happening here. So as you can see, you know, you can see that uh, 233 requests were allowed. You can see that nine requests were blocked and it's basically the example.com website that is being blocked here. So during this video walkthrough, I showed you how you can get started uh, by setting up a location, creating a policy, and then using that policy to block security threats that are are on the internet. And all you need to do that is a Cloudflare account. And if you don't have one, uh, when you go to dash.teams.cloudflare.com today, uh, it will automatically take you to the sign up page where you'll sign up and then it will redirect you back to the dash.teams.cloudflare.com page. Uh, click on the try now button to start using Cloudflare Gateway for free today.